Hello, welcome to a short video about the short term and long term political effects of Hurricane Katrina. I'll uh, start off with Tia. Okay, the short term effects the Home Guard was sent in to. And the next one is Louisiana, which was a reduction. <laughs> what was it for? They were sent in to uh, help people. Okay, and they shot people oh, from the Phoebe. Um, George Bush was criticised for being racist. The graph shows the after 10 years later looking back at the racial divide over the government's response to Hurricane Katrina. So the government response would have been faster if most victims had been white. Um, uh, it shows racial inequality is still a major problem after the event. The way that the federal government handled Hurricane Katrina is by the IOA people led. So um, Alabama had the most help. They had 56% of excellent help. And then. Mississippi had the least amount of help, they had 21% of poor help. I'll talk about the, uh, the long term okay. um, political effects. So, um, over, over the long term, they, uh, they rebuilt the defences of uh, like the hurricane defences, but they were only built to a Category 4, which, um, which if another hurricane at the same magnitude of Hurricane Katrina hit, they wouldn't be able to uh, withstand it. Uh, the, uh, the actual army, or the Home Guard, helped to rebuild homes. And then if you look at this graph here, uh, when the actual hurricane hit in here in 2005, the GDP of the state of Louisiana had a huge drop. It went from being 15 all the way down until 15 more. It went from being 11 to 15. 2005. It went from 15 and it dropped all the way down in 2006 to just around uh, 4. 15 and 4 what? Just read the axes. Annual rate of change. There you go. Sweet. That was um, short and long term political effects of uh, Hurricane Katrina.